Hello, my name is Thomas J. Baker. Yes, and this is my one of my current world building, well, projects. So, as you can see behind me, there is a wonderful, well, boat. It looks Japanese, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is. Let's take a look around. This is an Edo whoop, style village. It's going to be a teaching mechanism for young students to learn about Edo culture. So let's take a look around. We, I have built a pagoda, a fisherman's market with a little girl running around, a marketeer. I need to put more stuff here. Lots of stuff to do. It's a village after all. I have been working on this for two days, so please give me just a little credit. I, well, there's the boat that we were on. There's the warehouse, because by my research there were warehouses where they kept stuff, and there was a guy who, well, I'm not going to tell all the information, because I want people to pay for this. Anyway, so here is where I'm going to put more stuff. Warehouse full of chests. I need the stuff in the chest. I'm planning to, if I run all the way over here, a hatch to go down to a ninja base, which needs to do. I'm going to run across here. I'm going to go into the main town. Now, these buildings took me at least a whole day to build all of them, including the texturing of the painting, so let me take a quick look around. Here we have the weapon shop. Woo, weapon shop! Need to have somebody inside. Very small. Not that many shovels, but there's a reason. Quest wise. Go upstairs. We have the inside. We have futons. Going down. Go across the street. And here we have the art shop with pixelated Japanese woodblock prints. I'm going to put the names of each print and how much they cost in yen, I believe it's yen. Uh, some more. Woo. Textures. Go inside. There's an upstairs. Bhutan, an area to live in. I'm working on that. Studio. Go across to the bar. Where it's an outdoor bar. People I need to put make people for this. More Ritz here. Going to be stuff there. Go upstairs. This is where they're going to live. That this, this needs to get worked on. As I said, a work in progress. This is what I'm showing you so far. If I go, if I go across the street again to the apothecary shop, or as I like to call it, where medicines are. We got medicine shop. Medicine guy upstairs. As I cannot need to do. Anyway, so, whoa, empty area. Yeah, this is going to be a tea shop. Tea shop. And we also have the peasants' um, homes. Isn't that lovely? Warehouse again. And oh my god, it's, it's a rice field. This was hard as anything to make, but here we have rice field with rice farmers inside. They're actually not fields, they're called patties. Here we have that. There's going to be some stuff with rice growing. Isn't that lovely? Right. There's also a rice barn, which needs more stuff in it, like rice. Lights. Going past the billet peasants' houses again. There's going to be a building there. Tea shop, I think, that's going to be there. We're going to have a guard house. And then over here, I'm planning to put. I still need to put, this is, don't look at this, this isn't mine, this isn't mine, ignore this, ignore this, this does not exist. This is where a hotel is going to go, because there were hotels, right next to the bar, and over here we're going to have where the resident samurai is going to live, and then we're going to have barracks, a forge for, obviously there's weapon shop and tool shop, and there's going to be a bit more. But once this, once I have all the buildings, I'm going to put populate it, and then I'm going to do another update. Well, first I'm going to build all the buildings, but I just want to show you what I have so far. <sighs> I also got to redo this roof, make it look like those roofs. I think these roofs are awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. So.
Thanks for watching.